They start tonight with efforts to vaccinate one of the largest workforces here on the Central Coast, farm workers. And thousands of them are expected to start trickling in this month for the beginning of Monterey County's growing season. More on the preparations being made from Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez, live right now at Salinas. Felix. Well, Dan, Big Ag has been working on the max vaccination plan for some time. It's now in place, ready to roll out. All we need is the vaccine. We have put up the resources, the infrastructure. We built the teams. We have brought this to the county. It's literally on ice right now. We, we are waiting to just for the answer to come back to us saying, yes, we can start. Monterey County Ag leaders ready to start vaccinating farm workers now before an influx of them start arriving from the Yuma region, an area that has some of the highest COVID positivity rates in the nation. Ag employers will register their workers. Clinica de Salud will administer the vaccine. It actually makes, in our opinion, really good sense to begin to start vaccinating these folks before you wait, before we are facing a tsunami of challenges that quite frankly, then we'll be even further underprepared to deal with. So why is it not being done when 500 farm workers were vaccinated in Santa Cruz County Wednesday and another 500 expected to get the vaccine Friday? And what they did in Santa Cruz is they said, okay, you have extra vaccine or you have vaccine you're willing to allot, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and start doing that. Here, we're not in that position. Why? Part of the reason the doses in Santa Cruz were provided by a private provider who gets their allotment directly from the state. In Monterey County, all vaccine flows through the county, and the county requests providers prioritize those 75 and older to reduce mortality. The key word here, request, not require. And we're ready. Uh, the, what's missing from the equation is vaccine like everybody else out there. There's just not enough in the pipeline. Ag leaders not looking to jump ahead of the line. They just hope that if extra vaccine is made available, priority is given to field workers. They're the county's largest workforce, work environment, and crowded living conditions, the reasons their communities have some of the highest positivity rates. Looking at the data, there's no doubt it is our farm workers. It's those folks who have unfortunately been uh, impacted uh, to a much higher degree by COVID-19. And obviously our nation depends on them to provide the food for all of us. But the bottom line here, like everything else regarding vaccinations, it all comes down to availability. Dan. Felix, uh, as the vaccine becomes available, we're hearing about some providers, uh, other providers providing the vaccine. One is CVS Pharmacy. Where are we there? Well, Dan, as you, re, uh, you may recall, earlier this week, we reported that CVS had identified two uh, pharmacies uh, here in Monterey County, uh, both of them on the peninsula, one in Monterey, Carmel, to administer these COVID vaccines. Today, we learn a third site has been selected right here in Salinas, the exact location yet to be revealed. But nobody's ruling out the possibility that this uh, list may expand even more. Reporting from Salinas, I'm Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.